Swaying in the backswing could be ruining your ability to strike the golf ball in a consistent fashion. In this video, special guest Kenny Leach and myself are going to show you one of our favorite exercises to ensure that you're not sway off the ball and you're putting yourself in a position to strike that ball clean. Let's get stuck in. All right, Ken, so one of the main keys that we see with the professional golfer, if we were going to kind of freeze frame, let's say at the top of this swing motion here is that the pressure within their foot would be relatively positioned, kind of like, let's say, if anything, on the instep of this trail foot, right? Yeah, correct. So um, as, you, as you work through this, right? So when we get up to that top and we're getting that beautiful um, position up top, you're gonna notice that your trail knee is gonna start extending a little bit. Mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna straighten a touch. Mm -hmm. And the way to best straighten that is to feel that pressure towards the inside, mm. right? So if you push on the ground, the ground pushes you back, and in, in a sense, you're kind of straightening and extending that chain a little mm. higher, mm. right? So what you need to feel as you load, you need to feel like you're pushing towards the instep of that heel, mm. right? Mm. So the average golfer, one stands too far from the golf ball, <laughs> and then they, they, they push right on this inside, like towards the outside, because they're told to go right to left big. Yeah. And they end up, when, when the average golfer does that, they feel, have this load to the right, Right, and then it just stays there. It never gets, it never recenters. Yeah, we'll say, recenters. Right. Yeah. So what we need to do is, if you do have a little bit, because some some guys do like Rory. Mm -hmm. Rory's gonna have that kind of like that shift to the right. Mm -hmm. But then what he's doing, like as he's coming back up, he's got this nice little recenter to the inside of that of that heel. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And we were talking before, and you had a student, uh, and they. They sent you a question, right? And they were asking you, why does it look like my right foot is kind of rolling out in this direction? It's kind of moving to this position where we could almost see that the inside of the heel was lifting up. And he was asking like, do I just kind of feel like I, I push it down or something similar to that? Yeah. And you just gave him a quick little demonstration by placing something underneath the outside of his trail foot and we're kind of bringing awareness more so of how his pelvis was moving in space Correct. and how that affected his weight distribution and how that looks down on the ground relative to what this player was doing, correct. which was a lot of sway, correct? Yeah. So I kind of hit him with two things there, right? So I, I wanted him to have a kind of a, I forced him to push it towards the inside, but I gave him a little bit of a cue, okay? okay. So I want you to imagine, like, see that little top of that tee? See how mm -hmm. that makes that, right? So I want you to put pressure right onto the top of that tee. I'm going to place it right under your foot. So go ahead, set up. Mm -hmm. So again, so I kind of built this in here. So I, I want him to not put pressure on that orange thing. Mm -hmm. And I actually lift that up right there there you go so i want you to push right to there oh i can feel that oh yeah right so it, the more i can get my players to feel things mm. and give them the cue so i'm putting it right here mm -hmm. just above that spike yeah just yeah. like just barely above that spike so just a little bit more from the instep of the center of the yeah foot. so that you feel that push yeah down into the trail heel there and then this orange uh, half a ball here we've got that position about halfway on the same part of the foot correct sticking out yeah. so that you eliminate that sway to the right okay so and then like let's say they're kind of moving or they're ingraining this pattern into their swing and they're just conscious of keeping that pressure on the inside like trying to push that tee down is correct that it? Yeah, yeah correct i like so you're that just, you're just trying to feel that yeah i like that because instead of avoiding doing something. So for example, let's say don't apply pressure on that ball on the outside. For a lot of players, uh, moving them towards achieving something such as pushing the tee down into the ground actually exemplifies this even more for the fact that they kind of are now focusing on that. And it's amazing. It's such a, a small little piece underneath my foot, but I can really feel that from the sole of my foot. Yeah. And the more specific it is, the better you're going to feel it too. So I, I always start with like, you know, what will happen in my lesson is I'll be like, okay, hey, I'll make it really easy and I'm forcing you to that. Yeah. But what I really want to do, I really want to get rid of that. Yeah. Because that's too, it's, 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 it's big, it's bulky, but it's really forcing you to get there, yeah. right? So eventually I want to get rid of that orange one and just get you pushing into that T, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So that, that's, that's the best way to kind of make it more realistic. And I, and I think what a lot of players will tend to do when it comes to uh, implementing drills such as this into their golf swing is, let's say they do play something on the outstep of their back foot, then all of a sudden they're out on the golf course and then they're just doing this. So it's yeah, like, it's okay, totally different. That's what I need to do. Correct. Well, it, 
It's an exaggeration. Correct. And it's it's a, an exaggerated feel. But you, you, you we want to start neutral. There's never any, like, so sometimes there's always good to buy insurance and sometimes it's, you want to be dynamic. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. This is not dynamic. Yeah. Correct, correct. <laughs> now, this is also not dynamic. Yeah. Right? So having these knees, like everything is a lot of, you know, a lot of this is set up. If the knees mm. are in a good spot, we might want to see them just a little bit more towards the inside, get them closer. Mm. Some people stand too wide and get them too far out mm -hmm. and it's going to force to the inside of that on the outside yeah, yeah correct yeah. so like there's always like little cues you can do and i'd rather instead of somebody feeling like they start pushed in yeah. i'd rather them just feel their knees closer together yeah so that way you can dynamically load into that the yeah. right the right heel yeah i do love that so i think that's very important is that if you're a player and let's say you're you've been introduced to a drill and you want to try and nail this down not to just take it as it's all or nothing correct and i need to load up the inside of this completely and before you know it you've buckled this trail knee and yeah. you're snapping your knee off halfway through your backswing correct because you're not going to be in a position where it's going to be conducive to correct to a good ball strike so perfect standing here and what i'm doing here is i'm going to map this sensation out by feeling like i'm pushing that t is amazing ken i love that because like sure I'm aware of the orange, but for me, I love that sense. And I'm going to take that away yeah, cause, yeah, you... because right now that I've got that sensation and I feel like sometimes this is something that I might need a little bit in my swing. And almost as I have that focus on that T peg there, it's like I can feel this naturally wanting to extend that trail leg, which will help me get a little bit more rotation for a lot of players at home, which is going to help them get more depth. So it really starts to accommodate numerous movements to improve their ball striking. 100%. Yeah. And it's just going to make you dynamic and you'll you'll come down with more force into that golf ball as well. Perfect. So let's do one more little slow rehearsal. I'm really feeling like I'm pushing that tee down into the ground. Off we go. Oh, push draw. Gosh. Love it. You're so good at that. <laughs>